dear viewers you see when i click a row then the text field the first text field will contain the value of student id then the second text field will contain the value of first name and last name then department and so on so if the result set is true then what will we do we will set the text field value and the first text field value will be the student id see go to design and then right click and change variable name this is the variable name of our student id text field so text student id dot set text and what will we set we will set the values of the table and the values are comes from result set so the text will be result set dot sorry result set dot get string and now the string will be the column name first column name student id so let's write it is to student id let's run our program and then click a row and you see the student id text field is updated by clicking a row now i will do it for all of the text fields so the second text field is text student first name dot set text result set dot get text sorry get string first name i'm going to copy it and then paste it this will be last name last name last name then department series and then is height weight is Wait. Zender and blood. then right click and click format and for gender here you see it is a combo box not a text field so we need to write different type of code <coughs> and it is not that 
difficult go to design and then right click and change variable name and you see this is the name of our combo box combo student gender and go to source and write combo control plus space bar combo student gender dot set selected item result set dot get string and the string will be gender let's run the program again and then click in a row and you see the text fields are updated this time and now we will create another method and this method will work for keyboard key release so go to design and then right click the table and go to events this time key key release click it and this is the place where we need to write our code at first we need to sense which key is pressed that means up arrow or down arrow for doing this write the if statement and we will sense the event that is our event variable of type of key event then event dot get key code if event dot get key code is equal key event dot vertical up arrow or event dot get key code is equal key event dot vertical down arrow then what will we do then we will do exact same thing we did for the mouse click so let's copy it control C or copy and then paste it here format the code and then run the file now click arrow and then press the keyboard down arrow or up arrow you see the values of text fields are changed with the keyboard key release but you see here is a redundancy of our result set here and there so i am going to create a method that will keep the value of the each text field so i am going to cut it and i am giving my method name get value and for this i am going to do the same thing get value and now i will create the method here private void get hello try catch and i will paste the commands here and then format the code and then run the file and you see 
the exact same thing uh, is happening but this time the redundancy of code is minimized and forecast block let's copy it and then paste it here and go to design and we can do the exact same thing for this table so right click it and go to events and then mouse mouse clicked oh, where is the method and again right click go to events mouse mouse clicked and you see here is the option and we are going to paste the code for this table for <coughs> or mouse click so go to this table mouse click option and then copy it control c or copy and then go to design and again right click it go to events mouse mouse click and paste your code here and for this time the table name will be this one control copy and go to source and con paste it here table student info table student info yes table student info and again go to design and right click it go to events key key released and copy the code and then right click it go to events key key released and then paste your code here and the table name will be table student info so let's run the program again and if we click in this table the exact same thing will happen so that's it thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to